Hello YouTube, this will be a tutorial for how to make a Wispicket 1.8 server. This is not a patch or anything, it's the actual 1.8 server that they finally released a couple days ago. The first thing you'll need to do is go to the link I put in the description, it's the Spicket website link. Click on downloads and click on build tools. As you can see I already have it on my desktop. And make sure you put it on your desktop, it will just be easier later so when we, when we um, have to compile the jar file. So in the tutorial here it shows you need to download JDK and Git for Windows. So you could just click on this, it will open up a link here. Make sure you accept the license agreement. And if you're running Windows 64-bit, just click on this. If you're running any other operating system, just click on any of the links down here and it will download. Install that and install Git, which is right here. So just click download and install that. Now what you're going to need to do is you're going to go uh, all programs, git, git bash. If it's installed correctly, you will find that. All right. So first thing, we need to change the directory to where build tools is located. So cd desktop. All right, we're on the desktop now. Now here are the steps on how to compile the jar file. Uh, the first one is for 32-bit Windows, second is for 64, and the third is for Linux, obviously. Uh, you, can't, you can't copy this, so if you just try copying it, you can't right-click, pasting doesn't work, so you have to type it out by hand. So, Java, Home, C, Program, Files, Java JDK 1.0.8.0 underscore 25 Java dash jar build tools dot jar and after that you can just close that and it will create multiple folders and files on your desktop it won't be that much and it says in the, t in the tutorial on the website that it will take around 10 minutes or less. And when they say that, they're not kidding. It doesn't matter how fast your computer is, it's still going to take a long time. So I'll be right back after this finishes compiling the jar file. Okay, so it just finished, and you will probably have these folders on your desktop. All you need to do is go into Spigot folder, Spigot server, just type in Spigot and it'll come up with the, the jar file which you are probably used to now just move that onto your desktop, close out of that you can close this too and you no longer need all of this you can just delete that, put it in your recycling bin and this, what you left is pretty much what you used to um, if you used to running spigot, bucket, it's the same thing I like to rename it, just spigot, so oops. I usually like renaming it this, so when I make the start file, all I have to do is pick a dot jar and it runs up. But that is it. That's what you're left with. And you put that in your server folder, replace it with the previous one, and it should be working. Also, I would like to note that Essentials, uh, World Guard, and Permissions EX will be broken. You can find that by following the link I put in the description. Uh, it will bring you to this website, Jenkins Server. You could go to Permissions EX, you could download that. Uh, Essentials is here. It's, it's all been updated to work with this spigot right here. Because anything before that, you got maybe from the bucket plugins list, it won't work. So you have to download from here. But after you download everything that you need from here, it should work. And that's it.